Welcome to the final week of the Introduction to FinTech course. As I hope you've discovered in this class, FinTech technology is changing in many ways. This week, we'll explore some of the ways that FinTech is projected to shape the future of finance, and we'll introduce you to possible career opportunities in this rapidly growing and fascinating area. Though no one knows the future, there are certain developing trends that most experts believe are fundamental to or will be part of fintech in the future. These are artificial intelligence, which is in the news quite a bit nowadays, cloud computing, the notion of really honestly not, no longer having a physical disk or a drive or um, you know anywhere where we store data, it's all stored in the cloud. Low or no coding, um, that's the concept of kind of the idea of uh, programming for dummies, uh, it's the idea that anyone can program, anyone could create code uh, from pictures, from words, even typing something and then letting AI actually create the code for you that's necessary to run a program. Machine learning, the idea of machines understanding and growing in knowledge as they uh, repeat tasks, so, similar way humans understand things. Blockchain technology, which is um, really one of the most fundamental outcomes of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies. It's a, a way of storing information and recording transactions that's, that, that it's safe, it's secure, uh, it's unique. And um, it's just, we're just beginning to scratch the surface of blockchain. The Internet of Things is the idea that physical items are controlled uh, online or by the internet connected to the internet. So I have a thermostat in my house that I can program with my phone and I could be hundreds of miles away from my house and be able to change the temperature in my house. Crypto wallets and biometrics, one of the greatest concerns about finance, it's always been the case, but it's definitely in today's world is security of transactions, knowing that the person who made it's the person who has the money, the person who has money, it's actually there that we can access at any point in time. And crypto wallets and biometrics are new developing technologies to use in that area. And then digital currencies, uh, probably the, the most fundamental change that's gonna occur in the next few years probably, but definitely within the next decade is that uh, central governments are going to create their own currencies and they will be digital currencies. So we no longer have a dollar, we'll have a digital dollar and every transaction will be recorded the moment it's, it, it takes place because everything will be a digital currency. Uh, that's definitely coming. And, you know, Bitcoin is, it's definitely opened the door to just digital currencies, but uh, nationwide digital currencies and potentially even as some economists are forecasting, maybe one day a worldwide single currency, which would tie all the economies in the entire world together maybe in the offing of the future. So this week, uh, like every week, you've got some readings, videos, a couple of assignments. You have two readings this week. The first one's titled 2023 FinTech Predictions. And uh, of course, that uh, looks at where FinTech is growing and the current job opportunities in today's highly uncertain economy. The second reading is the ultimate guide to getting a job in FinTech. Uh, FinTech is it's impacting nearly every business in every industry. Um, many forecasters believe that uh, understanding FinTech is and how, uh, what it is and how it is changing business will be fundamental to the jobs of tomorrow. And so this guide, it tells you what you need to know to get into the FinTech field, from school to training, to networking with professionals in the field, to landing a FinTech job. There are two videos this week. The first one's titled fin Finance Degree versus the FinTech Degree. This is a question I actually have uh, many students ask me is, should I get a finance degree, a traditional kind of, I'll call it old fashioned finance degree or FinTech degree? Uh, the finance landscape is changing very quickly and emerging technologies will cause even greater changes in the future. And I think you'll find this video really interesting and quite thought provoking. The second video is titled The Highest Paying Fintech Jobs. Uh, to be completely blunt and honest, uh, 
salaries in fintech are excellent to beyond excellent to almost exorbitant. Uh, it's one of the highest paying areas in the business world right now. And there's no reason to think that that's going to change. And in fact, not only do fintech jobs pay high, they actually are also making all the changes in work that we do believe will eventually show up in the future. For example, uh, remote work, a lot of fintech jobs have at least a component to them where you're allowed to do some of your work remote and some of it in an office, if not all of it remote. Um, another interesting thing that a lot of fintech companies are exploring and beginning to introduce is the four day work week. So the idea that you work, say, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or you work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or maybe even you want a day off in the middle of the week. So you work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're off Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. Uh, there, that is definitely something that's coming in the future and fintechs are definitely leading the way in that area. The uh, discussion board assignment for this week introduces you to one of my favorite websites of all time. It's called The Future of Everything. It's a Wall Street Journal website. It's free and it offers articles about literally as the topic says, the future of everything. There's a little bit of everything in there. They're all future focused, what's gonna happen somewhere down the road, what are new developments that are taking place, cutting edge uh, health issues and technology and changes. It's amazing. Uh, this are, the website's filled with articles, videos, and podcasts. Your assignment is uh, to find based on the title you'll find i'll promise you uh there's a very good chance that once you find this website you will actually go back to it not for an assignment just but because there's a lot of interesting things there and you find it just fascinating um your assignment for this week is just to find an article a video or podcast most of them are short five to maybe 15 minutes for some of the podcasts uh read it watch it listen to it write a summary 1,500-ish uh, word summary, and then respond to two other students in the class on their post. And that's a way for you to share your understanding with them and for them to share with you some other articles or uh, videos or podcasts that they listen to that they found fascinating. And then finally, you have a quiz to complete this week. Quiz has multiple choice questions. They cover the readings and the videos. And just like all cases, as long as you read and you watch the assignments this week, you'll have no problem successfully completing the quiz. So I hope you have a great week. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, the, as I said the last time, it's something that I wanted to part with you, leave you with as we uh, finish here, is to always remember that in academics, the only bad question is the one not asked.